continue to give us your highly prized service, frail body. Indeed, you died so. <coughs> We shall keep a watchful eye on what is happening on the farms. Those who think Ian Smith can rally the White Fork as he did in the UDI days and rally them for another war should think again when there is still time for them to do so. That's all I'm able to say to them at this stage. All genuine and well-meaning white farmers who wish to pursue a farming career as loyal citizens of this country have learned to do so. We have been generous. No farmer, we said, need go without land. But what we will not accept is that they should have two farms, more farms, 135,000 hectares to one person. No. We are not for sale. Zimbabwe is not for sale, and Zimbabwe is for Zimbabwe. We are not for the highest bidder in Europe or elsewhere. And let Mr. Blair hear it. Indeed, we are not for the British bidder either. Our heroes would scorn us if we turned out to be a mere banana republic which waxes and wanes as pleases the powerful. They expect us to be brittle, very brittle, rigid and enduring when it comes to our sovereignty and personality. Britain, Europe and America can impose sanctions or do worse devilish things. Let Europe, in the name of their monstrous God, banish all holy men, as they have done with the likes of Bishop Knonga.